In this video, we will solve a question that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of Econ Maths. The question is like this: Consider a utility function. We are being given the utility function is u is equal to 2x plus y, where x and y are two goods. Let the price of x and y are both five dollars. Okay, that means price of x is five dollars and price of y is also five dollars, and income of the consumer is hundred dollars. In equilibrium, the consumer will consume the bundle. The options are given as 10 units of x, 10 units of y. Option B is 0 units of x or 20 units of y. And similarly, we have 20, 0, and last option is none of them. Okay. Now, uh, what we are being given, we need to since we have to find the equilibrium, uh, what we call the optimal uh, combination of x and y. That means we need to maximize this utility. Okay, so we need to maximize our utility function that is 2x plus y subject to the budget constraint. What will be our budget constraint? Price of x into units of x plus price of y into units of y should be equal to income. Okay, what is price of x being given us? Five dollars. Price of y also being given us five dollars, and income of the consumer is. Hundred dollars. Okay, so I can write here five x plus five y is equal to hundred here. Okay. Now uh, at equilibrium, uh, what is the condition? What condition should be satisfied uh, at the equilibrium? At equilibrium, we know that marginal rate of substitution between two goods x and y should be equal to the ratio of their Prices. That means price of x upon price of y. MRS is simply marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y should be equal to P of x upon P of y. Oh, okay. This is the equilibrium condition. So, what is marginal utility of x? Simply the partial derivative of what we call as uh, this. Objective function or utility function with respect to x. Okay, so marginal utility of x is simply the partial derivative of utility function with respect to x. Take the partial derivative. The derivative of x is one, so we are left with two. Marginal utility of y means the partial derivative of utility function with respect to y. So if we take partial derivative, we will get here one with respect to y, obviously. Okay. Now using this condition, now marginal utility of x, so I can write it like this: marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y should be equal to price of x upon price of y. What is marginal utility of x? That is two upon what is marginal utility of y? That is one. What is price of x? Price of x is being given as is five. Upon five, okay. So uh, if you can see here, we have uh, in this uh, case five upon five is one. So we get here two is greater than one. That means uh, this condition is not being satisfied. That means we have marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y. So this stuff is the ratio of the marginal utility of x and y. It is greater than the ratio of the price. That means p x upon p y. Okay. How? Because this stuff we got as two, and this stuff we got as one. Okay. If this is the condition, when the marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y is greater than the price ratio. In this case, consumer will consume all units of x and zero units of y. Okay. If it was otherwise, and uh, let me draw the graph uh, here. So let's draw the graph. Let us say we have good x on this axis. Good y on this axis. We have this uh, budget line. Let us say our budget line is this stuff. If I draw it like this, so let us say this is our budget line. In this case, what how will uh, 
our indifference curve look like our indifference curve will be something like this okay so this is our indifference curve this is our budget line and here we can see there is this tangent uh, tangency condition is not being fulfilled we got here a corner solution okay if this is the case consumer will consume all units of x and zero units of y okay if it is otherwise uh, should i rub this yes i should rub this out if we got something like this marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y less than price of x upon price of y in this case consumer will consume all units of all units of y and zero units of x okay so the graph will look alike like this so it is our budget lines we have x here we have y here okay in this case our uh, indifference curve will be like this okay uh, it will cut the budget line at y intercept and this denotes uh, this point denotes all units of x and zero units of y okay but we got this very situation that means consumer will consume all units of x and zero units of y okay by all units of x and zero units of y what we mean we mean uh, let me rub this out first here so all units of x and zero units of y that means we have the value of y is equal to zero y is equal to zero just plug this y is equal to zero in the budget constraint okay so we have five times x plus five times since consumer is consuming zero units of y so this should be equal to 100 so we have five x is equal to 100 because five zeros are zero x is equal to 20 sorry this is 100 100 upon 5 that means x is equal to 20 so consumer will consume 20 units of x and 0 units of y okay so we got here we have 20 okay so here we have the corner solution this condition is not fulfilled if this was the case then we would have interior optimum that means it would have like this this condition is fulfilled when we get the interior solution if this is not the case if there is inequality then we will get the corner solutions okay i hope i make myself clear thank you